What is the internet and what are these devices that serve me data? Hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. Let's find out now. The internet is a collection of computing devices. If you can access something, let's say you get on your phone and you wanna see the status of your fancy Tesla car, or you can turn the lights on and off or change the temperature. All of those devices are on a singular network called the internet. Now you may have wondered before, or maybe not, why is the word internet always capitalized? It's because it's a single thing. There are not more than one internets. So a computing device is any device that can communicate through a standardized set of protocols. Don't worry about the word protocol. I know you're getting fuzzy here, but communicate with each other. So right now, again, you and I can communicate with each other. A text message, whatever it may be, is going over the internet. Adding to this description, what serves us information? For example, if you're going to post on Instagram or on Facebook and your friends and family are going to look at it, where is that data going? So when you upload that picture, it is actually not going from your phone to their phone. It goes to other devices up in the sky called servers. Servers are just computers. This laptop I have in front of me could be a server. A server is really just a big computer. And by big, I mean usually more powerful. But as far as size goes, uh, back way back in the day, they used to be physically really large, like huge cabinet of a single machine. Now, they're usually just machines that are about that wide and about maybe somewhere in here, about that tall. And they just get racked in. So they get into these racks and they're in really big data centers, which are just really big rooms and buildings. They're their job machine. Now, they're usually just machines that our book and Microsoft and all these different companies house servers to serve you things on the internet. So when you are watching Netflix or you're gonna watch Amazon Prime Video, all of that is give, being sent to you via servers that are accessible by anyone with a subscription. Now, cool companies like that have multiple server farms or what's called a data center all around the world. So here in the United States, we have certain, uh, you know, there's probably dozens of these by all of these different companies. Uh, and then in Europe and Asia, there are many of these uh, data centers all over the world that are serving this information to us. It's a central place to, to get that data. So I hope that helps. I hope that kind of gives you an idea. Just the internet is just a big bunch of computers. We're all participating in the internet. If you have a phone and you have data connectivity, you are part of the internet. Your phone is a node, what is a term for a device or, or a uh, laptop or anything, a node on the internet. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, because this is awesome stuff. Let's keep going.